Listen up, fartheads. Put on your ball earrings and take a trip down reanimation lane. We saw Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. So you know what that means. A nigga grow a baby in his belly, rock a rhinestone vest while whipping Justin to Kelly. Or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow and take a boat with speed to hit and cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, and the beautiful June. Gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, help to blow off steam. Just a sucker punch the odd life of Timothy Green. Shock Nato to Birdemic, how we staying alive. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool, cool as ice. ice. Cause a bad Jim Barney looks Looking kind and nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making the grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Matinee Monday. We are going back to October 24th, 2019 for a little special Matinee Monday Halloween style. That's right. We are going back to our horror vault to talk about, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I love it, Friday the 13th, Part 6. This is about Tommy Jarvis reanimating uh, Jason Voorhees' corpse. And uh, yeah, Jason comes back and just starts killing everybody. Now. It's weird because in the history of the movie, Jason dies a boy uh, in a drowning accident. His mom becomes Jason that we know, but then they reanimate Jason, but now he's a grown man. Uh, Now, I was talking a lot in this episode about something I heard, Uh, and I'm going to play that clip in a second, but I want to say that this movie tries so hard to be PG-13, but there are some R things, and I believe I heard a condom in this week. Did I hear a condom in this week? Listen, take a listen to this clip. This this movie seemed to me also to have like, um, it's not a lot of jump scares. It's a little, and it's also not like super bloody and gory. No, Like they would cut away from where, you know, like I felt like he would squeeze someone's head, but like he would cut away to a shot of Jason's face and you just heard the squish and some blood would splatter on him. Yeah. You wouldn't really see like someone's head being caved in or like this seems to me to be an effort to take an R rated franchise and turn it into a PG 13 type of movie. Speaking of squish, did you hear the condom come off? What? What are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? When they have sex in the RV. How much, how, how much are you listening to this movie? (laughs) Did you hear the condom come off? <laughs> no, up? I didn't. While they were having sex, what, the condom came off at one point? No, after they had sex, I heard like... Wait, a... this was when they were like, she was like dance fucking? Oh, yes. Oh, we, I mean... Can you, I wrote I down, mean, can we please play this sex scene? They are fucking in rhythm. <laughs> Loved it. His tank top is rolled up. You're seeing his nipples. You're seeing his nipples, but they're not, it's not like his shirt is just tussled. It has been... Systematically rolled up. I couldn't make heads or tails of this. So we open up on the Walter White van, um, and this happens. I mean, look at this. Look at him. You're the best. The best. (laughs) And his shirt is rolled up. Look at this. What is going on? Here, like, what is this? And he's moving so spasmatic. He's like, <laughs> he's. <laughs> they, they having. I, I feel like this person has never had sex. I also feel like when I watched it, I was like, are they just like kind of like dry humping? I didn't know what was Wait, really what? happening. It felt He's like not dry wearing pants. I guess I wasn't looking that closely at first. Because you were just the- listening super closely. <laughs> you were just like, you were just like, hang on, is there a condom on? I watch all my. I films can hear. I like can Gene hear ha- that there's a condom on. I am like Gene Hackman in the conversation, just listening. You know what? <laughs> Stop subtly plugging. It's unspooled. not on the list. But should it be? Stop plugging Not on the list. Unspooled. But should it be? Maybe. Um, all right. So here is the sex scene continued. 
By the way, and I did have a problem with that. Ten more minutes? What is this, Michael Jackson's Thriller? I mean, there was There's no... There's no way this song is ten minutes no. long. No way. Unless she's getting the raw demos from the studio. There's no way. This is basically the Neutron Dance, and it is no way longer than ten minutes. The, but he has a great, like, a great take right now. She says ten minutes. That look is good. So Jason finds them, and and cuts the power in their RV. Um, and then he takes off a condom. And then I was looking through the notes. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Play the part where the, you hear the condom come All right. That's what I need. All right. Okay, ah. listen closely. Oh, yeah. What is it all? Court, you did it already. Oh, come on. Wasn't that the end of the song? I thought I heard it. You thought you heard it? Paul, I am disturbed. Paul, Paul, here's what I will say. With absolute certainty. Court, you did it already. How does it come off? His arms don't move. Well, anyway, Nick. You think the condom just jumps off of his dick? Here's my update. These are camp counselors in the 80s. They're not They're not using condoms. No way. Wow, wow, wow. These two people both have chlamydia. This is where you are wrong because what Nate Kylie has found out was the director did add in a condom sound effect. What? And he wrote that he wanted to make sure that he was showing safe, safe sex. Uh, Tom McLaughlin was like, I added that in because I wanted to make sure that I was promoting safe sex. Well, then why didn't he add a shot of like an, a, a condom wrapper that's been ripped open and is being used? Because it's for like, eagle, what is the sound of a condom? <laughs> <laughs> That's the T-shirt. What is the sound? What of is a the condom? sound of a condom? <laughs> That's that's a forerunner for a T-shirt. Um, runner. So that's that. Um, that was uns- later. Because how many people are here with the person that they're gonna fuck later? Later, I just want you to say to your partner, do the thing where you make the condom make the sound. Um, but then, the, what is the end sound? <laughs> Suction. <laughs> um, <laughs> See? Now, here's the thing. After that, they made fun of me. They ridiculed me. But I was right. I was 100% right. There is a condom. Listen again. There's a condom in there. I don't know if they're going to cut anything, but there is a condom in there. Uh, Anyway, (laughs) this episode's really fun. Jason talks about how he had a similar uh, issue (laughs) that Jason had, Jason Voorhees, uh, had in uh, camp trauma. We also just talk about camp in general. This is a fun, big episode recorded uh, live in 2019 in Berkeley, California. Uh, I hope you enjoy Friday the 13th. Jason lives. Uh, listen to it wherever you get your podcast. How did this get made? We'll see you next time on Matinee Monday. Bye for now.